So now, anyone who suffers from anxiety and panic attacks knows that there really is no quick fix, but there is a new technique called havening, which is helping people overcome a very wide range of challenges from trauma to addiction. Please welcome Stephen Travers to the show. Hi, Claire. Stephen, a lot of people seem to be suffering with anxiety. It's a real buzzword at the mm. minute. I mean, not to, 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 you know, take it less seriously, but it, yeah. it's huge at the minute, isn't it? Yeah, anxiety and uh, depression are at epidemic levels uh, in Western society for many, many reasons. Uh, and it's something that you suffered in your 20s Yeah, I also. used to suffer with anxiety and panic attacks, uh, which led me to becoming a hypnotherapist and a hypnopsychotherapist to try and find a solution for myself. So over the last decade, I'm always looking out for the best, the newest psychological methods that can get my clients the best results. And that's how I came across the havening techniques. Because I think we've all heard of hypnotherapy, yeah. you know, for anything, you know, not just anxiety, but for quitting smoking, weight loss, all yeah. those sort of things, or CBT, cognitive mm. behavioural therapy. But I had never heard of havening before. What exactly is it? Yeah, I came across havening about four years ago. I was reading a newspaper article. It was an interview with Paul McKenna, the famous hypnotist. No relation. Right, no relation, no. Uh, and Paul was saying that he believed havening was going to change the face of therapy across the world because of the remarkable rapid results it produces. So this was a pretty, pretty bold statement. Yeah. So I did a bit of research on it and uh, I discovered that it was uh, developed by an American doctor called Dr. Ronald Rudin. He's also a neuroscientist. He's got the largest private medical practice in New York. So I contacted Dr. Rudin directly. I ended up doing one of the very first trainings in the UK uh, with Dr. Rudin. And I have to say, I was absolutely amazed by the neuroscience behind it. That really impressed so me. So what is it? I mean, what makes it different to the other therapies you touched on there? Yeah, the big difference is a lot of therapies you mentioned are talk therapies. Havening is a psychosensory therapy, which means we use sensory touch, where we stroke the arms very gently, the hands and the face, and we use pleasant psychological distraction. So there's touch involved. And what we do is we pinpoint or identify the traumatic memory or negative thoughts that are causing the anxiety symptoms. And we get the person to think about the negative thought or memory. We activate the stress. Then we get them to clear their mind and we distract them and we start to apply the havening touch. And what havening does, it delinks the emotional and physical stress from the thoughts or the memories. It switches it off and completely clears it. And it does this within minutes which makes it a real breakthrough in the field of trauma therapy. Because now I could be wrong, but I did notice a kind of a tensing even down here. The thoughts of somebody like rubbing me would actually right. bring me out with anxiety. But is there something about it that yeah. gives a feeling of calm? Yeah, when we stroke the arms, it's, havening means bringing you to a safe place, first of all. So when we stroke the arms, it's done uh, in a way like you're soothing someone, like a child if they're upset. Uh, and what we've discovered is when we stroke the arms, it produces something called the delta wave in the brain. Dr. Rudin discovered that when you're having a traumatic experience, something called AMPA receptors get stuck on little neurons in the, in the brain. And those receptors download all the emotional and physical distress you're feeling at that moment. And this is what causes anxiety-based problems. Because we, when we hug, doesn't that release something? So exactly. it's that same kind of yeah. touch. It's all about the neurobiology of touch. So when we hug people and touch people gently, it changes their neurochemical state. And that's the, I suppose, the neuroscience or the foundation that Havening's built on. Uh, when, we do, when we activate a traumatic memory, these receptors are activated. The delta waves remove the receptors off the neurons in the amygdala which means it switches off or delinks the emotional and physical distress within the person. So any stimuli or cues that was activating that phobia, that panic attack, can't activate it anymore because these receptors are now completely gone. And that's the big breakthrough in Dr. Rudin's work. Now, and is it scientifically proven? I mean, there'll be cynics out there. I mean, you can have clients that walk out and say, this worked for me. And for me, I think just because you can't touch it or feel it or see it, if it works, I'm with it, but there are other people who mm. want facts, who want figures, who want science. Yeah, well, you look at Dr. Rudin, first of all, he's a Harvard academic, he's a neuroscientist, he's a medical doctor. Uh, there was a study done in King's College in London a couple of years ago by uh, Dr. Neil Greenberg. He's the head psychiatrist there. And that was done with people with severe anxiety 
uh, trauma and depression, and that shows the impact that Havening has in just one session. The results are remarkable, quite extraordinary. People can find that study online, King's College London Havening study. If they want to have a look. Well, yeah. I'd have to say we got a lovely email in uh, when we had put up that you were going to be on the show, and it's from a man called John. He says, I'm writing on behalf of my wife, who suffered with anxiety and panic attacks up to three or four times daily. She took bad anxiety fits and was seeing a psychiatrist and a GP. She was housebound for 14 months and felt she had no quality of life. She found Stephen Travers and has done three havening sessions, and she's a new woman. The panic attacks and anxiety fits have stopped. She has a totally different outlook on life. All now thanks to the Havening technique. As her husband, I feel I got my wife back stronger and better than before. Myself and her daughter can't thank Stephen enough. Do you get a many of those sort of stories, that complete turnaround with this technique and others you use? I work with hundreds of clients every year. I'm in full-time practice in Dublin. and Most of my clients come with anxiety-based problems. These are the results I see every single day. It's quite remarkable. Even in yeah. the makeup room earlier, we were talking about anxiety mm. and maybe the effects of phones and social media yeah. and is that adding to people's anxiety? Do we know yet what causes it or There's, why it's there, increasing? There is some research on it. It shows that it's addictive, that when people get likes on Facebook they get a little release of serotonin. So that makes it addictive. So you keep coming back and you post stuff and you want some recognition. Uh, it takes up a lot of time. As we all know, if we're open up Facebook during the day, I'll check something, it could be half an hour later and you're still scrolling through true stuff. Half an hour at least. Yeah. I've spent longer yeah. down that wormhole. Yeah, so uh, yeah, there is a lot of research that so shows that social media can be addictive. But once again, with a lot of addictions, we have to look at what's causing them. And we often find that it's trauma-related issues. People are trying to change the way they feel, be it through eating, through using their phones, through distracting themselves, through you know, doing drugs, drinking alcohol. But the root cause of most of these things are anxiety-based issues. You're it, running from something. You're running from something or you're trying to self-medicate or change the way you feel in some way. And what Havening's really doing, it's addressing the root cause and removing the anxiety and the stressors. It's quite different than talk therapy. A lot of talk therapy is trying to teach people how to cope or manage. What Havening's done, it's actually going in and removing the symptoms which is a big difference. Now, would it need to be a very big trauma, such as child abuse or bereavement, or could it be a bad breakup? I mean, could it be anything? Is there a spectrum of traumas for people? It can be any type of trauma from everything you've mentioned there, from a bad, bad breakup to a horrific car accident. Like, we can clear most major traumas now in under 10 minutes with Havening. Havening's working at the electrical chemical level. It's changing the, the, the electrical chemical state of the brain. That's why it's so quick. When we start using this touch, we're changing what's happening at an electrical chemical level. So, yeah, under 10 minutes, we can clear most traumas. Now, how is this a good business for you? I mean, people are walking out after one session. I mean, don't yeah. you want them to come back and keep talking and keep going? Well, I tend to do about three or four sessions because in the first session or two, I want to really, you know, address all the traumas, all the triggers. By the time I get session three or even four, I want to be building up their resiliency levels okay. as well. Okay. okay. So I tend to do about four sessions with most people. And you probably need to have that session and then go away and take it all in and come back a week later yeah. and talk again. Because we have to check the results. So when someone comes back in a week, I do a debrief to make sure that we're getting the results we want. Uh, because Haven and Camp produce remarkable results, people, more and more people are finding out about it and they don't want to spend necessarily months or years in therapy. They want to come in, they've got a problem and they want a result. And, and that's... they want to get on with their lives. Exactly. Yeah, okay, good stuff. Yeah. Well, we have your website up on the screen okay. um, and there's details of how they can get in touch with you. You have a training day coming up in April and a book on the way, so there's no stopping you either, Stephen. Yeah. That's right. And just to mention that training day is on the 21st and 22nd of April. It's open to anyone. So anyone suffering with anxiety or any type of stress-related issues can come along. We're going to be doing live demonstrations, teach, teaching people the neuroscience behind havening and teaching them how to apply havening on themselves as well. Uh, obviously, therapists uh, will be coming to it as well, but there's a different uh, certification process afterwards if you want to become a certified havening practitioner. Okay. Well, Stephen Travers, thank you very much for coming in. Thank you.